Because you're hungry. Found out at 8.30 last night that number one wasn't going to be here today. Of course, I found out at noon yesterday that she wasn't going to be here tomorrow either. So, yeah, I get to do all the feeding. Nice and sunny out. They all just came in here, so now the ceiling's dripping. Because it's getting warmer in here, so the condensation is melting. So, I don't know what I'm going to do today yet. Hopefully Ben comes out and slips a tire on the rim for me. We'll see. Uh, we were going to get rid of probably half a dozen of these steers today, but... You know, I ain't doing it by myself. And... Yeah, I don't really feel like trying to grind feed by myself because we mix too much stuff in. I might get one batch done and I'd be about dead. And the fun part is, I need these empty totes. And she's in the way. So, you know, one thought is drag the sprayer buggy out of the shop and get this thing fired up and hose off part of it. Get a shoehorn out, <laughs> weasel it in the shop. Really, I wouldn't mind dropping the duels off of it to give some more room, but unfortunately, that left inside one right there, you can see the zipper section in it where it's opened up. So. It isn't going to hold anything up once I take the duel off. Do need to get something done with it, though. And that's interesting. I didn't notice that before. It's missing one tail light lens. The right one's not there. Hmm. Oh, well. But hey, a neat thing this morning. I, I try to catch up on videos that people put up. You know, for me, it's the middle of the night. But for them, you know, maybe they're out of bed. Maybe they're not. A couple I haven't. Oh, man, that was a drip of water right on my phone. Uh, a couple of them I watched this morning. They haven't put a video up for a while. One of them's Piper Doug. I mean, I usually get to see his comments on mine. But he's been a little slow getting videos out lately. And he's got a lot going on. It's good to see him this morning. And another one's Anderson Cattle Company. He had some computer issues and he ended up dumping a bunch of footage. That's what he said, so and it's good to see him too. So if you ain't checked them guys out yet, go do it. And uh, I ain't even going to try to say the name. There's another channel that I've been watching lately because the guy's been commenting on mine. I don't even know what country he's in, but he's got him a little rice paddy planted. And, you know, works his butt off to do it. And I, I saw quite a few familiar faces in the comment section of his, so that was kind of neat. Well, anyway, we'll see what today brings. It's going to be wet for a little while. Well, they got the frost out there is really, really heavy. So, I mean, going out and doing anything out in the grass is going to be kind of a no-brainer. I don't think so. You get soaked. Although there's too many things I need to do out there. And Fat Amy's sitting there saying, feed me, feed me. Yeah, not too bad of a cow for a spoiled one. Don't ask me who the rest of them are. Well, there's Mini Moo right there. That was out of number one's original show cow built like a freaking Holstein but she put calves on the ground and I don't know can't get can't get her any heavier than she is oh and boomer's standing over here that one with her head between the two butts with the goggle eyes has turned her head away a little that's that big cow she don't look so big right now. That's the problem this time of year, especially if we're still on pasture. They start slipping. <sighs> but being short of straw, and obviously short of help lately, because this needs to get bedded. Um, I don't know. Gonna have to get them in, I guess. 
Because they're definitely not getting off the pasture and they're not gorging themselves enough on hay by the looks of her. Either that or she just really needs to go out and take a drink of water. I don't know. Oh well, that's enough flapping my jaws for now. And hi. Hey look, it's still laying here. Got a strap on it. We're gonna <laughs> so, now he's thinking about something else, dirty minded people. Jesus. Get your mind out of the gutter, boy. So uh we're gonna lift out with the skid steer this time. And lay some cardboard on the sawhorses so we hopefully don't take too much paint off. Set it back down. And then I, I might even be nice and use the skid steer to set that tire over the top for him. <laughs> it's still over there. I, I do know there's some junk in that tire. It needs to get blown out, wiped out, whatever. But, and I, I dropped the ball. I was going to plug the skid steer in this morning, and I did not. So, yeah, I'd show you a cold start on that, but it's a little hard to hold the phone and, and, and try to start that thing all at the same time because... Once the high, once it starts to start, I kind of play with the hydraulics to keep them definitely in neutral so that it makes it easier for the engine to start and warm up. So anyway, next thing you'll probably see is either partway done or done. I don't know. I haven't got there yet. Hey, look, it's back in position. Now for the fun part. For lack of anything else, it's a little Don dishwasher. So have any of that other fancy stuff I should have texted him and had him got his dad to get a can full of that good stuff but nah, that didn't happen yeah he says Don works pretty good yeah between two monkeys and three bars we got her that far now for the rest and I, I don't know if we've scratched any paint yet or not we made some noise with the bars but Head once. Yeah, I only knocked my hat half off once. And his hat hasn't moved yet. Lucky bastard. Oh well. I guess I got to get back to work now. I can't sit here and film all day. Told me I could probably sit here and film all day now. I watch him play, Mr. Monkey. Slicks everything up and can't do anything. Always, always, always love doing this. Don't pinch the tube. Don't pinch the tube, you know. Play that game. And I know here in a minute I'm going to have to do something besides hold the camera. Because this is a whole different ball game with that thing sitting in the middle of it. The nice thing is when you drop the plastic nut that holds the stem in, it couldn't fall to the floor. It could only fall right there where the other piece of the stem is, so... But ooh, so close. I want to make sure that bar doesn't come out in the back of the pocket though. <laughs> <laughs> Keep at that I was I was watching it. It wasn't wiggling yet, but I'll hold on to it for you. Why? Because I don't want Ben to get a headache today. Ben gets a headache and then I got to finish it and clean up the blood. I don't want to have to do that either. Narrow minded, I know. Spoil him by helping him. But I'd rather spoil him by helping him than have him get mad because I just stood here and watched. I tried to just stand here and watch when he dismounted it. And I did, for the most part. There we go. That's what he was looking for. I'm not used to doing some new wheels either. Or at least painted wheels. Well, the last two you did for me were on painted, freshly painted wheels. Yeah, well, they didn't have the shaft in it. Yeah, I know. A little easier. Now we can make reference to Robbie here. I mean, Robbie does his stuff all the time. He He might be quicker. Ben doesn't do it all the time anymore, so... And I don't know if Robbie's ever done one with a big shaft in the middle so you can't get on it very well. Maybe he'll let me know in the comments. <laughs> He'd probably tell me he's glad Ben did it and not him. 
I'm like about 90% sure that that's what Robbie would say. Good thing you got Ben. I don't want to do that. I hate that when it does that. So close in that one little spot. Oop. One stinking little spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. As long as he don't knock the sun bitch off the sawhorses. Stretch, boy, stretch. Look at that. Almost like it was planned. Yeah, this isn't going too bad. Look at that. There, almost done. She is finished product. That's even the direction it needs to go. Dem will be to the left. You know, I had this all, all planned in my head and went to go that on. I go, shit. Because you kind of like to put the tire back in the same spot it was, you know, tube and tire. No different wear points in them. Same with the wheel for the tube. And I thought it was on wrong. I go, well, okay, we'll just spin it around and put the stem to the right instead of to the left. But no, I was right. It'll go like that. Anybody want some bird poop? There it is. But it is done. So thank you, Ben.